Hi there, today we're unboxing a Colo light. So details in the description below for anyone thinking of purchasing. So on Amazon, this is how they describe this product. So they say a Colo light is a decorative smart modular LED light system that beautifully transforms the atmosphere in any room. So in essence, it's a lamp. So it's a smart lamp and multicolored and it's customizable as well in short. So let's have a look around the packaging comes nicely packaged with the image of the actual product if I come around here voice control on there as well so should work with the Google Home and the Amazon Alexa if I come around here some details regarding the product and how it clips together okay and on here just some basic details and name and more pictures showing the product okay so let's open it up and see what you get in the packaging Okay, so I've laid out all the items you get in the packaging, so let me quickly go through them one by one. So initially you get a manual, and this is just a little booklet, all in English, and just basic details on setting this up, just to show even the other side has some details on there. Okay, so the next thing we've got is a base, and this base is used to hold the actual hexagon lights. Now, in terms of size, it comes in around 13, and if I go straight from the top, saying around just a little bit above six centimeters, okay? And the thickness is around half a centimeter. So no rubber pads or anything like that. So it's just smooth, very light feel to that, no weight at all really. So, and build quality seems fine, all plasticky all the way around, okay? The next thing are connectors. So these are used to actually connect the lights up. So each one is an individual light and there's connectors on the back to allow you to connect it. And size wise, I'll just give you a brief idea, just below two and a half centimeters. Okay, so next let's take a look at the actual light itself. So this is the main one and this has a cable on there, obviously to plug it into a USB point. Now the length of the cable is around 90 centimeters, a flat cable as well, and the build quality feels good on there. Now, this can be disconnected as so, and you can plug it into one of the others. So just to give an idea of what it looks like on the back, so two connectors there and a single one all the way around. Okay, and if you look here, obviously you've got the double connector and you've got this little hook thing that hooks into there. Now that's used for locking it in position so this doesn't easily come out. So if I show you the back, that's unlocked and locked position. So you can just put a coin in there and lock it. Okay, so size wise, if I just go from here, top to bottom, so we're saying about seven and a half, and at the maximum point here is about eight and a half, and thickness wise, I'd say about three centimeters. So reasonably compact in size. Now, all of them are the same, just to note. So if I take this off again, just to show, there you go. It's the same on each of them. And you can buy more of these hexagon lights to add on. Now, the way this works is, if I now come in at an angle like so, take the connector and just place it in position and it locks it like so, and that's all it is. And if I come in, let's do another one as well. So you could, I guess if I come in like that, that's locked in and then you can bring others in if you had the add-ons on there. Now, the way this works is literally take the stand and you slot it on there. Obviously the positioning I've got is no good. So let me disconnect. If I come in there and I come in there, so that would be better. Okay, so in terms of mounting it, you'd put it around this way. So with the cable facing backwards, you just slot it into position like so and that's how it would look on a table. So nice and tidy, so no cables visible on the front. Okay, so next, let's plug in the USB cable and see what happens. So I've got a connection point at the back here and plugged it in, and there you go. Okay, already on, and quite interesting how it's working. It's just alternating the colors. So I was expecting more of a staticky sort of look, but this is pretty cool. Okay, so next, let's make a start at setting up the app for this. So 
I'm at my Android phone here. Let me go to the Play Store. And if I click in here and want to search for Colo Light, and it's that app there. So if I click Install, and let's give it a moment. Okay, so now the app's installed. Let me click Open. Okay, so it needs access to storage on the device and you need to set up uh, an account with them. So let me sign up off camera. Okay, so I've entered in my account details. Let me click sign up. Okay, and that's it. This is what you're initially presented with. So let me click add a device. Okay, so if you take a look on the side of your Colo Light, you can see if it's a Pro or Basic. So I know this one I have is the Pro, so I'll select that. Needs access to devices location, so let me click Allow. Okay, Connection Guide, single hole slot, double hole slot, okay. And just telling you how to connect this together, I'll just click Next. Okay, connect your device to a power source, then hold the button on the controller unit green arrow above oh, okay so there's a button there so and the light will start flashing blue okay so if i now come round here and just hold on okay so it is flashing so if i click next turn on bluetooth okay let's click next now and there you go it's discovered it and now it's searching for Wi-Fi network, and that's the one I'm going to use if I click there. So next, I need to type in the password for my Wi-Fi network, so let me do that off camera. Okay, so I've entered my Wi-Fi password and click Next, and this is what I'm presented with. So let's give it a moment to go through the pairing process. Okay, so now I've got a Next button if I click that. Okay, device name, My Light, so if I click Done, and that's it. Slide up, down to change effects. Slide right, left to change functions. Okay. On, off, brightness, palette, music mode. Okay, so now the device is added in. Let me show you around the app. So if I come in here at the top left-hand corner, click there, you can see this particular light and it's indicating cloud and my light. If I click on it, obviously it will go to it. So if you had more, it would appear just below that. If I click on settings, you can see account management. Obviously that's the account I'm using to control this. Language, beginner guide, help and support and privacy policy. If I go back, then you've got help. So this has the actual support email address. Let's go back from there. Group. So if you had multiple of these devices, you can group them together. And then there's an add button to add more of them in. Okay. So that's that set of options. And now if I come to the right hand side, click here, you've got these sets of options. So set distance. So this is the distance between each of the hexagons. So it just shows how you'd add them up and what the maximum distance to enter in would be. Okay. Next we've got save effect. So you can save the current effect you have as your default when you turn it on. Then you have timing on and off. So I was surprised at this one. So you can actually set a timer on this. So if I click plus, you can set a turn on time, turn off time, and then obviously the week you want it to happen on and an interval as well. So impressive, didn't expect that. Then if I go back in device settings, so you've got device information, device password, set time zone, modify name and reconnect. And right at the bottom, you've got delete device. So for instance, device information would be basic name and things like IP address details. If I click on that, there you go. That's what you're seeing. Okay, if I go back from there and we work our way down, you've got an off button here, so you can turn it off, turn it back on again. Button here, eye shield, 80%. So it just dims it down a bit more and then you can put it on maximum. So let's take it down to 80, okay. Next, we've got color palette. So you can pick different colors, just go between them. If you wanted a specific color, okay, and you can have a play around with that as well to have your own specific one. Okay, next, let's go to here. 
please select listening by phone or device so the device actually has a microphone built in so I can actually say device mic and then you can select your music mode so let's pick soft and for a color let's pick rainbow and we can pick that one for instance so testing one two three testing one two three so as you can see now it's actually moving in accordance with the sound that's coming up so if you had music playing obviously it would work in conjunction with that so good functionality and the fact you don't have to rely on the mic on your phone which is good as well so let's go back from there and then you've got options within here if I go across here my library okay you can create a library and you can move things around and create a shape out of that okay let's go back cancel Ooh, confirm official library pick official playing method okay and there's some default ones they have quite interesting with the colors already set so you can set a color on the individual items and obviously draw it out on this as well okay and again some options there click on there you're back to my light okay let's go back and if I go this way you can go through different effects cherry blossoms 80s number of effects on there very impressive really I hope the camera's giving it justice it does look pretty cool okay so I'll briefly go through them and it's gone back to the beginning from what I can see now okay and if I come and there you go you can go back to your customized one okay so another thing I wanted to show on the app so if you've got the effects going here the predefined ones if I click here you can actually make your own effect so you can pick the colors you want for instance so let's go for breathe and rainbow and you can set the speed you want so let's go for fast and you can set how you want it to appear so let's go for that one for instance and there you go and if you wanted to slow it down just click there and there you go it's slowed down let's pick another one see so if I go there for instance and we'll speed it up again and let's pick one other one perhaps that one and there you go so even customizable with these dynamic effects so simple to set up and you can customize it quite well and it's very granular based as well so you can actually go to specific colors you can go for patterns they've already had and it's nice how the different colors all flow and it's not just a static color that suddenly appears so very impressive okay so next let's see if we can control this colo light remotely without being on your wi-fi network so i'll turn off my wi-fi let's give it a moment let me turn off my bluetooth as well not sure why you'd need that to control this and let's go back to the light so turn it off yeah there you go no need to open any ports on your router and works straight away and let's flip between different colors just to show it in action and if I go here there you go excellent functionality so it can be work worked remotely as well so excellent functionality can be controlled remotely as well okay so next I'm going to test out the actual music sync performance on this so I've got my Bluetooth speaker here this is the Zenbri Z8 Plus and that's linked on my phone which you can see and I'm gonna play some music on here and I'm gonna change some of the settings as we go along so let me hit play <laughs>
too bad. Doesn't quite go along like how a lot of these LED light strips with music sync are, but still pretty cool just to have that facility on the device. Okay, so next I've set up my Google Home and my Amazon Alexa, and next I'm going to show how to set up the Colo light to work with both these devices. So I'm at my Android phone here, and let's make a start at setting this up on the Amazon Alexa. So let me start up the Amazon Alexa app here. Okay, and next we want to go to this corner and click on skills and light games. Okay, so next we want to click on this corner and go to skills and games. And if I click on the search icon and we want to search for life smart. And this is the skill we want to enable. So if I click here, click enable to use. And next I'm going to be prompted for the login ID I used for the Colo Light app. So let me enter in my details off camera. Okay, so I've entered in my details. Let me click login. Okay, so you need to authorize it to give access to it. Okay, now it's successfully be linked. So if I now click on the X here to close that off, and it's asking to discover devices. So if I click discover devices, and let's give it a okay, moment. Okay, so if I now click done, and we go to lights and if I scroll down you can see it there my light so if I click on that and that's the name I gave it obviously in the colo light app so from here if I click there turns it off click there turns it on change the brightness it's down to 1% turn it up a bit and set color as well so if I scroll down another color and color representation on this is really good spot on really is okay and if I go back now you can create routines with this and if I go back let's take the brightness down again and you can rename as well if you wanted you can call it something else and that's it so now if I unmute my echo dot I can say Turn off my light. Okay. Turn on my light. Okay. Change my light brightness to 10%. Okay. Alexa, change my light color to blue. Okay. Change my light brightness to 100%. Okay. There you go. Simple as that to get working with the Amazon Alexa. Okay, so next I'm going to show how to set up the Colo light with the Google Home. So I'm going to go to the Home app here. Click in the corner there. Go to Settings, Assistant and Home Control. Now, if I click on the plus here, click on Search and I search for Life smart and it's the bottom one there so life smart smart home okay just selected that and now it's going to present a login prompt so i need to enter in my account details for the colo light so let me do that off camera okay so i've entered in my login details i'm just going to click login now let's give it a moment there you go now it's asking to provide authorization so we'll click authorize Okay, so now it's been linked in and you can assign it to a room. We don't need to do that. And click understood. And let's go back now. And if I go to home and we scroll down, we should see my light in there. Okay, as I'm not seeing it, let me come out and let's go back in and if I scroll down now 
There you go, my light. So from this part of the interface, I can click there, turns off, turns on. And if I go into it now, I can adjust the brightness. There you go. Same as with the Amazon Alexa, I can go to color, I can change color in theory. Okay, so interestingly enough, you can't change the color from the interface, even though it says it's selecting it. So now that's the options you have available. Let's go to settings. You can rename it as well. So let's test this out. The microphone is back on. See so if I now say, turn off my light. Sure, turning off my light. Turn on my light. Okay, turning my light on. Change my light color to red. Sure, changing my light to red. There you go. So you can change the color via voice control, but not from the app. So that's an interesting thing to know. Now, if I say, change my light brightness to 10%. All right, setting my light brightness to 10% set my light brightness to 100%. All right, setting my light brightness to 100%. Change my light color to blue. Okay, changing my light to blue. There you go. Integrates simply with the Google Home and easy to control with voice commands as well. It's an excellent functionality with both the Google Home and the Amazon Alexa. Okay, so you've seen the unboxing and setup of this Colo light. Really impressed with it. I was a bit dubious about it. I thought, what would it be like? But having got it and used it, very impressed. Excellent bit of tech and I think a great addition to any gaming setup out there. So I hope it's helped anyone thinking of purchasing this. Details are in the description below. Thanks for viewing and don't forget to like and subscribe.